Hello and welcome to this nice short sharp sweet tutorial on how you create see-through vials. We begin by using cobalt blue to foreground the non-metallic metal. So that this is practically undiluted or 2 to 1, 3 to 1 paint to thinner. And this is a base layer applied to any metallic portion of, of this aspect of the miniature. Uh, moving forward, we do need to take into consideration the scene as a whole. What is the background image? We are very fortunate in that we have a red background image and we are able to build up a very convincing see-through effect. Uh, it's slightly more tricky when we don't have a background to it. Refer to the Fabius Bile tutorials. That was They were one of the first tutorials ever done. Uh, and it does take you through the process to do it there. Um, okay. Next up, I use Sap Green by Scale 75 Artist Paint. And then I'll add a pinch of turquoise blue into the top of the liquid to wet blend them together. Now make sure that the liquid has a consistent keel, which means uh, the, the we want to make it seem like the liquid's moving uh, in inside the vial. So make sure that the uh, the the look like the spirit level of the top of the liquid is consistent with one another. Next up, use pastel blue to build the first base coat for the vial. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll add some uh, yellow and buff together to create the highlight of the non-metallic metal. I'm not worried one little bit whatsoever about the blend at this point. Uh, glazing can help uh, with a blend later on but at this point I'm trying to build big reflections. Light flesh is then used as a specular highlight for the non-metallic and I'll also be using it on the glass later on. By using the same specular highlight on the metallic and the glass vial we ensure a consistent highlighting scheme. And we want to keep the highlights in context with one another. So wherever we peak the highlight on the non-metallic metal, we peak the highlight or we add specular highlights on the glass files in exactly the same areas. A pinch of the cobalt blue is used to highlight the turquoise blue and sap green layer and to add a very definitive, uh, sorry, add a very definitive uh, differentiation between the glass, the see-through glass, and the liquid inside. That's at this point I want to add a few uh, air bubbles appearing inside. So turquoise blue is dotted in random places to give the impression that there are a few air bubbles in the liquid in the solution. Okay, crimson is added in the uh, black portion that we've left over as if we are looking through the vial and looking at his skirt behind. You can also add a very, very light glaze over the empty or the supposedly empty area, which whatever area is not occupied by the liquid. Okay, light flesh is now used as a specular highlight and we keep it consistent with the highlighting scheme that we've built up with uh, the non-metallic metal. The paint is undiluted and we make sure that it's coherent when we apply it on. That means there's no spread. We aren't trying to mix it. We aren't trying to blend it or feather it into the surroundings. They're very big definitive blobs of paint added onto the surface of the miniature. You can also add a pinch of white to highlight within the light flesh layer if you do want to push the value contrast. But that's it, it's as simple as that. This is more about transition and knowing where to apply highlights. Now the light flesh layer applied onto the glass vial 
runs over the empty area that's been given a, a glaze of the red and it runs directly over the uh, turquoise layer so that reflective glass layer not only travels over the empty area but over the uh, the area that's occupied with the liquid as well there will be an example at the end of the video but that specular highlight it runs down the length of the glass it's not prohibited it's not stopped by the liquid or the empty area okay uh, I finished this off uh, by adding uh, I believe it's dark yeah dark ochre dark brown ochre onto the uh, leather strap and I'll add a pinch of turquoise to add uh, the, the, the gems do those quickly but the leathers then uh, I believe I take a pinch of the turquoise blue and some light flesh and I'll, uh, I'll create the cracked leather effect and that's it so you can see how the specular highlights run along the length of the glass and it's not inhibited by, by the material inside and that's it glass vials I hope you've enjoyed this very short tutorial I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.